Hello, I'm C. Edward Baldwin, and this is the Ink Report. America is a violent country. We've known that for a long time. But apparently, the violence extends beyond just humans. Take a look at this and meet me on the other side. That captured the hearts of fans worldwide met its demise in the U.S. The Canadian researchers who created Hitchbot as a social experiment told the Associated Press that someone in Philadelphia damaged the robot beyond repair early Saturday, ending its first American tour after about two weeks. Sadly, sadly it's come to an end, said Frock Zeller, one of its co-creators. The kid-sized robot set out to travel cross-country after successfully hitchhiking across Canada in 26 days last year and parts of Europe. It's immobile on its own, relying on the kindness of strangers. Those who picked it up often passed it to other travelers or left it where others might notice it. It started in Marblehead, Massachusetts, on July 17 with its thumb raised skyward. A grin on its digital face and tape wrapped around its cylindrical head that read, San Francisco or bust. The robot bounced around the Boston area and was briefly taken to sea. One day, it took in a Red Sox game, checking off one of the items on the bucket list created for it. But Hitchbot never made it off the East Coast. The creators were sent an image of the vandalized robot Saturday but couldn't track its location because the battery is dead. They said they don't know who destroyed it or why. The robot was designed to be a talking travel companion and could toss out factoids and carry limited conversation. A GPS in the robot tracked its location, and a camera randomly snapped photos about every 20 minutes to document its travels. During past travels, the robot attended a comic convention and a wedding, and it had its portrait painted in the Netherlands. It once spent a week with a heavy metal band. With the robot destroyed, Zeller said, she was most concerned about children who loved Hitchbot and followed it on social media. Her team doesn't plan to release the last photo of it to protect young fans who might be distraught. You know, that's a sad and disappointing story. Sad because so many kids have come to know the hitchhiking robot and now the thing is destroyed disappointing because it's not that unexpected. I think a lot of us knew it would be difficult for a robot to make his way across America unattended, unchaperoned, by itself. In America, no one is safe from that. Unfortunately, this is not la-la land. America is straight up reality and bad things happen and evidently not just to people, but to any object. Does that say anything different about us from what we already have known? No. But out of this, you also see the goodness of America come through as well. We'll fund the replacement. We'll get hitchhiking robot back on his feet again, some of us, because that's the country we are. We're a big melting pot of good and bad. For better or for worse. It's who we are. So, as you look at the images of the robot being destroyed, don't feel too bad. We'll get old robot back on his feet again. But I will say this. If you're going to send that thing across America by itself, don't. Send it with a chaperone. This is not La La Land. This is straight up America. And the chances are he can take another beat down. Okay?